I still think they'll get viewers more than this show anyway. <laughs> Self-deprecating humor is the best part of comedy. <laughs> All right. Well, that's this week's episode of News Time about the NFL Sunday ticket trying to find a new home. Huh. I wonder what my cold open's going to be. That's copyrighted. We can't we can't do that, can we? I never thought NFL games could be so readily available to me. But suddenly I wait to see all of the games are watchable for a fee. Cause I got the Sunday ticket. I've got a pack of Twinkies by my side. With DirecTV it was fine, never a chance to show off the rings, but suddenly the games are mine, all the CTE for me. Cause I got the Sunday ticket, it's mine, Ron. I'm gonna be alone for the rest of my life. It's news time delivering to you the news you didn't know about the news you didn't care about and the news you didn't know you cared about with host chad white now here's that host chad white welcome back to news time i'm your host chad white and this is the football news you didn't know about i don't know i didn't have anything prepared are you ready for some, what? Legally, I'm not allowed to finish that sentence? Oh, come on. I was going to do a whole thing with the, all right. It's football season again, so you know what that means. The fall TV season is almost here too. Also, go Cowboys. The return of football actually means Sundays, Thursdays, Mondays, and even Saturdays will see their fair share of CTE-driven games. Who We knew uh, coming into this NFL season there'd be a change in how games were broadcast. Thursday night games all but move over to Amazon's Prime Video. Viacom CBS is assuredly going to air more games on Nickelodeon. Also, expect more players to talk about the vaccine in ways that make you 100% believe that they did not get the vaccine. Kirk, a lot of people are saying, a lot of people are saying that as the quarterback, perhaps the most important player in the team, with this happening that you should be vaccinated? Are you giving consideration to being vaccinated? I think the vaccination decision is a private, very private health matter for me, and I'm gonna keep it as such. Um, uh, I do believe that as a leader of the team, it's very important uh, to follow the protocols to avoid this close contact, because that is, that is what it's gonna come down to, is did you have a close contact? And so I'm going to be vigilant about avoiding a close contact. I've even thought about, should I just set up literally plexiglass around where I sit so that this could never happen again? Um, I've thought about it because I'm going to do whatever it takes. So um, we're going to avoid this close contact thing and I um, and, uh, look forward to uh, you know, making sure I'm playing for every game this year. Kirk Cousins dancing around the question is in a one-off instance. And way too many football players, let alone sports players, are the exact same way. Other football players like Cam Newton, NBA players like LeBron James, the numbers are staggering. They're made up of the dumbest people in our nation. And yeah, I called sports players dumb. They think the world is flat. I'm friggin' Stephen Hawkman compared to those bozos. The biggest ticket in the world for the NFL is up for grabs, the NFL Sunday ticket. This is the NFL subscriber-driven all-access way for viewers to watch all their current season's games, including those that are out of market. It's a cool thing to have, and every other major sport like MLB and NBA have similar offerings. Sunday Ticket is peculiar because it's been gatekept behind DirecTV since its conception. A couple of years ago, the contract was rumored to not be renewed due to the waning satellite sales. Now the ticket is looking for a new home, or homes given that both MLB and NBA subscriptions platforms can be purchased anywhere from your cable provider to Amazon channels, which is probably the worst way to watch because 
Prime is horribly designed. Come on, guys. This Sunday ticket news came during a flurry of other big NFL jukes. Huh? The organization re-upped its broadcast deals for 11 years, netting almost $30 billion for itself. Plus, games can finally be streamed legally. That's actually a topic I covered on the Constitutionals in depth. You didn't hear it. I only know due to the fact I have access to the subscriber numbers, you jerks. The gist of the new deal means that ABC gets a Super Bowl TM, airing for the first time in 15 years, plus it keeps Monday night games. Amazon gets the aforementioned Thursday games from Fox, which will still air Sunday games alongside CBS, and NBC keeps Sunday night games. The move to streaming is important. Everyone watches any combination of free and paid offerings from various providers. Along with places to air games, ratings are still as vital as broadcast networks. Prior to the pandemic, ratings for NFL games were bouncing back from a deficit. I mentioned that in an episode of this show in the fall of 2019, just a little while before the entire world changed. The next fall saw networks vying for the right to air any games in the coming years. That's where these new deals came from. Networks used the pandemic as an excuse to cancel shows, yet they quadrupled down on America's second most dangerous pastime. The first is all that butter we love to eat. Mm. Streaming, broadcasts, ratings, all of, these, all of this brings us back to the Sunday ticket. The NFL's executives know the next best move for them is to move into streaming. The Prime Video deal uh, took a couple of years too long, but now they're on their way. Apple was reportedly approached. It's not a bad idea. Disney inserted itself into the conversation this past May. Again, not a bad idea. If Apple bought the rights, and they could 10 times over because they're Apple, that would put Apple TV Plus into a powerhouse conversation. If Disney bought Ticket, ESPN would be an undefeatable juggernaut. But the Sunday ticket is expensive. Apple may not ha may have billions in the bank, but they probably don't want to drop it all on one project. Same goes for Disney. There may be one solution. Sports Business Journal analyst John Uran suggests not purchasing rights outright, but rightly purchasing a piece of NFL media. The NFL would retain majority control of their operations, while a financier took pressure off the other ventures that aren't as fruitful as broadcast contracts, like the NFL Network and NFL label, uh, Films label. That kind of deal doesn't seem to be happening, but it is a good idea. Whatever the deal, it's sure to speed up the end of cable. That was the whole argument as to why streaming wouldn't succeed in the first place, the lack of live sports. Soccer is spread between NBC's Peacock and Viacom's CBS's Paramount+. Plus. Fubo TV is a solid offering for streaming cable with sports. ESPN Plus can be accessed on Hulu now. We're at capacity for uh, sports streaming. Bring the NFL into the fold and the coffin is sealed. The NFL is making the right decision to put an end to the unusually inaccessible Sunday ticket by moving it to a more popular service. The deal actually ends in 2023, so there's still time to hammer out details. They could go to the route of exclusivity again or join the MLB and NBA and offer the service wherever they can. I think they'll still get more viewers. More than this show, anyway. You know, to help that out, why don't you subscribe? <laughs> And check out one of our other videos. Of course, you can head to the website, seaplitzcomedy.com, where the segues are just to die for. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at seaplitzcomedy. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chad Black White. Like us on Facebook. Listen to the Constitutionals podcast. Talk about it before, wherever you get your podcast. And uh, I guess I'm going to go to the chocolate factory.